What's up everyone? Today I'm going to give you a tour of Quincy, Massachusetts. I recorded this video on Thursday, December 1st, 2022. It's 4 p.m. and it's 39 Fahrenheit, 4 degrees Celsius. Quincy is a suburb which is south of Boston and is known as the City of Presidents. It's known for being the birthplace of John Adams, the second president of the United States, as well as John Quincy Adams, his son. It's also the birthplace of John Hancock, the first signer of the Declaration of Independence. And you may think that the city is named after one of those two presidents, but it's actually Colonel John Adams that this city is named after, John Quincy Adams' great-grandfather. But we're here during the holiday season and we're going to go and check it out. It's actually my first time here. Quincy, I mean Quincy, it's actually pronounced Quincy for some reason even though the uh, two presidents are named are Quincy. So that kind of trips a lot of people up. Quincy actually used to be a part of the community of Braintree, but over time it had its own identity. Also, the first ever Dunkin' Donuts location is located in Quincy. We'll be walking by it in this video as well. Quincy has some very nice decorations. I like the snowman as well as the Santa Claus. And there's not one but two Christmas trees here in Quincy. Both of them are very beautiful. City Hall is located here. Modern glass building. And this building is the Quincy Town Hall, the old city hall. Built in 1844. There's the other Christmas tree. And the clock tower. Small cemetery over to my right. This is the Hancock Cemetery, old burial ground old early settlers of the town. Reverend John Hancock, for whom this place is named, Henry Adams, ancestors of John Adams, Hosiah Quincy, and other members of the Quincy family, and 69 Revolutionary War soldiers, also buried inside the cemetery. This group of buildings over here looks very nice. It's uh, named the Adams Building. And who is this a statue of? Let's walk by the front and see. What do you know? It's John Hancock. And I presume that's the Declaration of Independence that he's holding.
little bit of traffic here in the city. A store just dedicated to old string instruments, the E string. The Quincy Sun, historic Quincy's home newspaper. And this used to be a bank. I like how the city puts out the stockings on the lampposts. This is another historic building. Let's see what this used to be. The Granite Trust Building. And on top it says the Friendly Bank. And today it's still home to a bank, that being Bank of America. Looks like this is a commercial street right through the city uh, center. The Joe Finn building. I'm very curious to see the birthplace location of Dunkin Donuts. I was looking it up and it has a completely different uh, script than the junk Dunkin' Donut chains that are currently in business. Boba and Arcade. Well, it looks like it's uh, undergoing renovations, brown paper in the window. Pho Pasteur Vietnamese cuisine. Very interesting architecture in this city. There's a lot of old mixed in with the new. Here's the Hancock Market. And these are new buildings. They got an old building next to it. Walter A. Avery Square. Looks like this used to be the Quincy Company. Welcome 
to the gallery, the Kilroy Square Gallery. From what I'm seeing on Google Maps, I think that next traffic light is the extent of this uh, city's downtown. I'll swing left on that street and start walking towards the first ever Dunkin' Donuts location. Got a nice sunset now. Some boarded up businesses, three in a row. Napoli Pizzeria, Italian uh, Pizzeria. Looks pretty nice. All right, that sign says it's to Revere Road. This will lead straight to the first location for Dunkin' Donuts. We'll get to see some of the residential neighborhood. Let me put in my map to see how long it'll take to get there. About 13 minutes. After I uh, get to the first Dunkin' Donuts location, I'll walk back towards the subway station. It's a really nice Christmas tree there in the middle of uh, Kilroy Square. I wonder how many 
public Christmas trees we're going to see. I doubt we'll see many here on Revere Road towards the uh, Dunkin' Donuts, but you never know. I should cross over here too since the uh, Dunkin Donuts is on the other side of the street Washington Street. I assume it's named after George Washington. Pretty wide street though. Seems that with the exception of uh, those streets immediately in and around the city center, not much of the city is walkable. Very reliant on uh, automobile transportation. It is kind of a strange layout they have here. A nice sunset. 
looks like that lot is under development. You have some of these uh, homes here which haven't been developed yet. And then over here you have a car dealership. Looks like I could uh, make a right over here and head in through the back way. I don't really want to walk up there since there's a lot of cars. At the end of this street should be the Dunkin Donuts location. It's such a pity that it's such an uh, out of the way place for walking though. like this is a stop and shop supermarket the uh, loading docks over here Some of these uh, trash bins got blown over from the wind.
right, I believe the first Dunkin' Donuts should be over here somewhere. Should be able to see it shortly. Right now I see a Ford car dealership. Well, Google Maps says it's around here somewhere. Another car dealership, Nissan. Up, oh, I think this is it right here. I know that orange is possibly Dunkin' Donuts. Yes, it is. We've made it, everyone. The original Dunkin'. How cool is this? Established in 1950 here in Quincy, Massachusetts. There's even the uh, old artwork behind the wall there. That's kind of cool. The old cars. The original Dunkin'. Original Dunkin' Donuts, the first one in America. Yeah. Yes. So cool. Very nice old logo. I love it. Unfortunately, it looks like that's all what's interesting around here. Now it's just a bunch of uh, speeding cars. But I need to get back to the subway station now. You're going to join me as I walk back there. We'll take a different street. This is what uh, we missed coming down this way. By not coming down this way, rather. I think the best way for me to get um, back to the street I was on is to uh, cut across the shop, stop and shop and then go to Washington Street. Now I could say I've been to the original Dunkin' Donuts.
think we should be pretty familiar with this street now. Except this time we'll be walking towards the sunset. across the street here. Let's see if any of these buses are coming anytime soon. I can wait here for the bus. Doesn't look like it. We'll be making a right at the next traffic light and that'll lead us right to the subway station at Quincy Center or Quincy Center even though I know the pronunciation is hard to break the habit Oh good, we have the light in our favor this time also. Let's cross the street and make a right over here.
looks like some lights are on now. Maybe those two Christmas trees that we saw at the beginning of this video are lit now. Central Baptist Church. Is the local post office. This is very nice. Looks like this entire area is lit now in colors. Yep, the Christmas tree is lit. We just had to wait until it got dark. I'm glad I came here uh, at this time then. Let's cut through here. Oh, both trees are lit. Oh my gosh.
It's so beautiful here. All right, everyone. The subway station is here. I'll be taking a train to downtown Boston to see a tree lighting at the Boston Common. But if you enjoyed this walkthrough through the city of Quincy, Massachusetts, then hit the like button, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Take it easy.